was really sweet. He was really, really sweet and very full of happiness. He was a happy child, a very happy child. I know that he would never do anything to hurt him. He would not do anything to hurt my children, you know, because I, I know him and I've lived with him and I was there, you know, when this supposedly ac accident or whatever happened, I was there, you know, I know good and well that it didn't happen. We would spank him in the hand, you know, like um, we would either use a belt in the hand or maybe a ruler. You know, but that was it. I've never witnessed because I don't allow people to whip my children. Not like that. Not with me being the mother. Yeah, so I'm not understanding where all this bruising came from that occurred in one day from what they're saying. That just doesn't make sense. So there's a lot of things that I'm definitely going to have them look into because it doesn't make sense to me because they were like, you're going to jail, he's going, and you're never going to see your children again. It was just so, so under that distress, I ended up saying whatever it was that they wanted me to say just so I could leave and go home. And of course, I learned my lesson the hard way. It's just so much, you know, to lose a child and then have to go through this and then, you know, to just have the world just, look at you like you're, you know, as they say, a baby killer or, you know, or your husband did this and you allowed it or you did this and and then to be away from my children that I've never been away from and then to have your own dad think, it's just been a whole lot. But I know that he's in a better place. That's the one thing that kind of gives me peace is that I know that I know that he's with God, and, and I know that God is loving on him, and he's, he's okay.